I remember the very first time I saw it. The monster in my closet. I was only a kid, maybe five or six years old. I had spent most of the night watching old horror films with my father. My mother protested me watching, but my father reasoned that the movies we were watching weren't even that scary. I remember confidently nodding in agreement with him. My mother just shook her head and told him that he'd have to put up with me if I get nightmares. He just shrugged and we continued watching. One of the films we were watching that night was Poltergeist. Not a particularly scary film for an adult, but to a child, it was horrifying. Some otherworldly creature that claws its way into our world and steals children away was terrifying to me. Especially the closet scene. Seeing that glowing monster appear made me cower in fear on the couch. My father took notice of my body language and with a sigh stopped the film. I tried to put on a brave face and told him that we could finish it, but he just told me it was time for bed. I tiredly got up from the couch and made my way to the bedroom. I quickly jumped into bed, pulling the covers towards my face. My father came in not long after and gave me a kiss goodnight. He shut off the light to my bedroom and quietly closed the door. I remember laying in the darkness of my room, the memories of the horror movie fresh in my mind. I felt my eyes wander around, looking at the shadowy shapes cast on my walls from the moonlight outside. The shadows danced off my jackets hanging on the wall, transforming into large claws grasping in the air. The shadows cast by my action figures on my dresser painted silhouettes around my room. As my eyes drifted from one shadowy monstrosity to the next, I felt my anxiety growing. I tried to remind myself that I was a big kid, that monsters weren't real. Then, my eyes locked on my closet door. It was slightly ajar, and I tried desperately to remember if I had opened it or not. As I stared, I watched as my closet door slowly began to open. I instinctively shut my eyes, trying to wish away what I had just seen. I waited for a minute or two, shaking underneath my covers with my eyes shut. I cracked one open and I saw it. A face, peering out from my cracked closet door. It was low to the ground and tilted to the side. It looked like it was twitching. In a fraction of a second, I screamed as loud as I could. I probably woke up the entire neighborhood. The next thing I knew, my bedroom light was on and my dad was rushing over to me. I told him that I saw something in my closet and he just shook his head. He walked over to it and opened the door fully. The entire inside of my closet was empty. Messy, but empty. I tried to convince my dad that what I saw was real, but he wouldn't listen. He told me to go to sleep and did not make him come back in here again. As he left, I asked if he could leave the light on and he obliged. I didn't see that face for the remainder of the night. That was the first time I saw it, the creature in my closet, but it wouldn't be the last. Around ten years later, I had long since forgotten that night. I remembered watching horror movies with my dad, but the events after seemed to have evaporated from my mind. I was sitting in my room watching mindless TV one Saturday night, when I felt eyes on me. In an instant, that feeling I felt when I was a kid rushed back, and I once again snapped my eyes over to my closet. The door was shut, but I could feel as if something was on the other side, waiting. I stood up from my bed and quickly turned the light on. Almost instantly, that feeling vanished and I could feel an exasperated breath leave my lungs. I walked over to my closet, cracking the door slightly to peek inside. Nothing was there, just like before. I decided it would be best to go to sleep with the light on just in case, and I got ready for bed. 
A few hours after I dozed off, I was stirred from my sleep. I'm not sure why, but something was telling me to wake up immediately. When I finally rubbed the sleep from my eyes, I noticed something different. It was my bedroom light. It was turned off. My parents must have noticed that I had left it on and shut it off after I went to bed. I quickly sat up and looked around. My closet door was open again. I wanted to get up from my bed and shut the door as fast as I could, but before I could even move, I saw something start to appear from behind it. A hand like ink began to spread around the edge of the door. The door creaked as it was gently pushed open. Then, that same head I had seen all those years ago slowly peeked out. The memories from that night poured into my head like a tap. I could feel my pulse quicken as the door opened more and more. It was smaller than I thought it would be, but that didn't diminish how terrifying it was. It looked like a teenager's body, but it was hard to tell with how dark it was in my room. It was hunched over and crept out of the doorway slowly. It didn't appear as if it knew where I was in the room. It sniffed at the air like some sort of animal. It had large, vacant eyes, almost like it was blind. It clattered its teeth together as it sniffed around. A slight gasp left my lips, and the creature stopped instantly, tilting its head in my direction. It took a few steps towards me, still biting at the air. It looked like some deranged high schooler. I backed up on my bed, trying desperately not to make any noise. It was swiping at the air, trying to see with its hands. It reached the foot of my bed, and when it did, I shouted for my parents to help me. The thing tilted its head with a slight snarl and walked closer. My mom opened the door, and the light from the hallway poured into my room. The creature vanished right before my eyes. My mom asked me what had happened, and I told her that I was just having a nightmare. She comforted me and told me to get back to bed. For the last ten years since that day, I've instinctively slept with all the lights on in my room. Even after I graduated high school, gotten a job, and moved into my own apartment, I still never went to bed without a light on. I'm not sure why, but after a certain amount of time, I forget the creature, yet I manage to retain my desire for the light. Then, it happened again last week. Last Friday on my way to work, I noticed the clouds overhead. The Weather Channel had been predicting rain all week but we hadn't seen so much as a single drop up until this point. A light mist began to coat my windshield as I pulled into the parking lot. As soon as I stepped foot in my office, I could hear the torrential downpour outside. Work continued normally with my boss breathing down my neck to turn in my reports for the day. Once my shift was over, I quickly headed home. The rain seemed endless as it battered my car the entire way. I finally made it back home and rushed inside. I made myself a sandwich and watched last night's game in the living room while I ate. When I finished, I got ready for bed. I had done my ritual of turning all the lights in my apartment on and settling into bed. I yawned as my eyelids slowly began to close and I was quickly off to dreamland. I was awoken a few hours later by some unknown force and I quickly sat up. My entire apartment was pitch black. The power must have gone out. I rubbed my eyes and looked around, trying to adjust to the darkness. Then I saw it. My closet door. It was wide open. This unnerved me because I knew I hadn't opened it. Memories I previously had returned like static in my mind. I could remember the monster from my childhood. Realizing what was happening, I felt panic begin to form in my chest as I rapidly scanned around the room. Then, I heard that familiar sniffing sound and the clicking of biting teeth. They were coming from underneath my bed. I jumped out of bed and backed away from it. The creature slid out from underneath it like a spider. I looked at my bedroom door on the other side of the room, past the creature. It took a step towards me as I tried to look for a way around it. Another step. 
I was running out of options. Another. I needed to get out of here. I grabbed a nearby lamp and hurled it at the creature. In that instant, I ran towards my bedroom door and tried to open it. When I did, I felt a hand on my shoulder. The creature was right behind me now. It wrapped its hands around my head and pulled me backwards. I stumbled but tried to regain my balance. It began clawing at my eyes and face. I rocked from side to side and managed to free myself from its grasp. It wheezed and gasped as I did so. I got up, dashing down my hallway to my front door. I could hear its sniffling, biting sound as it approached quickly from behind me. I turned to look back as I struggled to unlock my front door. Then, the lights in my apartment came back on and with it, the creature vanished once again. I've decided to write this while it's still fresh in my mind, before I forget about the creature. I'm not sure what it is or why I seem to forget it after each encounter. I've decided to look for a new apartment, one without a closet, but they are hard to come by. I hope I can find one before I forget why I'm searching in the first place. I'm not expecting you to believe me. I probably won't even believe myself and I'm the one writing this. But if you find yourself alone at night, and you notice your closet door open, get out of your room. Or at the very least, turn the light on. I don't know what it wants, but it's probably best not to find out.